Hello everyone, in this section of Bootstrap Essential Training, I'm going to talk about customizing column order in Bootstrap using push and pull class. There are two classes in Bootstrap, one is push and one is pull. Push and pull class is basically to either push your column or pull your column in Bootstrap layout. So how it's work on a Bootstrap, let's talk about that. If I go to my uh, this layout in a Bootstrap that I've created, uh, if you are coming from my previous video, you'll not see any you know column classes over here. I've just included a call access four class here, so that uh, this my structure will look like four 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 twelve column grid layout, and same goes to down there. So let's suppose that if I put a push class here, so how you can put your push class is call your screen size. I'm targeting extra small screen size. Call access and I'm pushing this column by 4 so if you see here now it's now my Facebook is behind the Insta screen size so I have just pushed this class from left 4 column there so now it's up to here on the second section and if I copy this one and go to our next column that is this one and if I now pull this class so what I'm doing there I have pushed this class from there and I'm now pulling the Insta on the left hand side so I've just write this call access pull and by four column so if I refresh this one you'll see that now Insta is coming on left hand side and Facebook is on right hand side earlier it was Facebook on left hand side and Insta on the middle side. So how it is useful in our bootstrap structure, I'll tell you that. <coughs> so right now I'm targeting this for extra small screen size and I have already this extra small screen there. So what if I target it for a small screen size? So let's see that. So rather than choosing our extra small, I'll include my small class here and we'll see the impact there so if I refresh my page right now my Facebook is on left hand side and Insta is on middle on extra small screen size so if I if I move my screens to a small screen size you'll see the difference that There you can see that right now Facebook is on left hand side now when it goes to small screen side Facebook is on middle and Insta is on left you can see the difference there it's changing on a screen size right so you can perform this task you know to move your <coughs> entire columns or push it or pull it so that what do you want that are you on your Facebook is on left hand side on extra small screen size and on the middle and the small screen size you can do this by this way. So this is how your push and pull class work in a bootstrap and in the next section of bootstrap tutorial we will be talking about the bootstrap CSS till then thank you so much bye bye.